I would completely own your ass on Survivor. You, duh, you ate one thousand ants. <laughs> We didn't talk about that on here, did we? That was just real life. <laughs> that was just us in the yeah, car. Yeah, that was in the... No, when was that that you were talking about? You had to eat, like, so many ants. Yeah. And your belly hurt. Yeah. And you had to go get tortured. And they were, like, tickling you. And they were like, hey, little ant boy. <laughs> you want some more ants? You're like, no. I'm no, I ate, so many, I ate so many ants. Yeah, you said you ate, like, 4,000 Yeah, they taste shit. like lemon drops, dude. And that was... It was only, like... What was that, like, 400 calories? Yeah, we looked ants. it up, remember? Yeah, yeah like, I, like, found an it ant like, calculator. It was, like, a little tiny meal. Yeah. But, I mean, I was pretty full. I'm sure after not eating for how yeah, long? Yeah, and you squish them and then lick your fingers. Yeah. How yeah. long was it before you had ate? Since I then? hadn't eaten, in like, six days. So, yeah, 400 yeah. calories was too much. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. yeah. I think I had, like, like, a couple blackberries. You just went to bed after that, and they caught you. Yeah, yeah, they did. <laughs> Yeah. He's all full ant. <laughs> <They got laughs> this boy ass, full ants. Look at him. He's all slow. We're gonna torture his ass. <laughs> full ants gonna shit ants everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I just hid in a bush for a while. Yeah, like a real thick bush. It's probably for the best. Yeah, <laughs> nobody came to get me. You found it me. wasn't until I was like on a cliff. Yeah, like where. Like Couldn't there was like away. rocks above me, yeah. and then there was a cliff below me, and I was traversing, and they had dogs too, by the way. That's scary. So the dogs were barking, yeah. And they're like, "Someone's around here somewhere," and I'm like hiding right under the overhang. Like, dude, this is like in a movie. Yeah, you're being chased by a, a enemy force. This is first blood when he's running from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the woods of Spokane, yeah. Washington. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Similar that. Where is he? I mean, he was that? down Oregon. in Oregon. Yeah, yeah Oregon. It's so Pacific Northwest, similar, yeah. a little bit more redwoods yeah, yeah. down that yeah. area, on the coast. Yeah, Oceanside. You basically maybe. just role played Rambo. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> and then they got me. Yeah. And then it was. They over. got him too, though. At some point, they did. Yeah. I mean, but that was in the second in Rambo. His, yeah, yeah. Not the first one. Mm -hmm. The first one, they didn't get him. Yeah. They just let him. Yeah. They just let him go. Crazy. I don't really get what was going on there. I don't either. Yeah. There's a lot of old movies I think we should rewatch. Uh, no, no, some of them you have to leave alone. Nah. Yeah, because I've heard so, so many people say that Rambo is such a rad movie because they watched it when they were like mm -hmm. ten. Yeah, I had never seen it until I watched it for the first time like a year ago. It we is could remake it with terrible. an iPhone. We could remake it with an iPhone because it never changes uh, focal lengths in yeah. the lens. If you notice that, probably. But yeah. yeah, it's just a terrible fucking movie. Like the whole helicopter scene. Like that was the most expensive scene in the entire film. It looks like a toy helicopter on strings. Yeah. It might be. Um, <laughs> Have we looked into that? I watched, y'all watched, it was Valentine's Day last night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What'd you do? I had Valentine's Day with Charlotte and Lux. Okay. Oh, yeah. You've got your, I'm doing your adult Valentine's Day. Adult Valentine's Day later. is Friday. Friday. Off premises. Smart. Because there's going to be a lot of. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be. Someone else is going to have to clean that up. Yeah. Yo, You're just leaving that for someone else. Yeah. That's, there's going to be a fine. You better, you better leave a tip. <laughs> We're going to be yeah. fined. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever, whatever happens after that. Yeah. There's going to be like <laughs> stray dogs pregnant. <laughs> there's some shit from all the We're goo eating, you leave They're behind. eating whatever's there. Sick. <laughs> in the street. How'd you make all these? They're just, they're just stray How'd you dogs. make all these dogs sick? It was Valentine's Day. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. What? what? What does that mean? Dude, like, I can't even. There's what? just like so much goo and yeah, litter just like, poured into the streets. Sorry, dude. Is that placenta? Probably yeah. not. No, not ours. Just don't oh, go man. to a hotel no. chain that you like because you're probably not gonna be welcome. You're back. not gonna get the points. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna report you. <laughs> Yeah. To who? The, probably the government. Mr. Best Western. Yeah, the, the government, the government gonna, with photos. The like attached. There's like a whole phone. Like, <laughs> they sit this me shit. down in a room. They're like, Mr. Taylor, we need to go over what happened in the Sheridan room 313 on Valentine's Day. February 14th, 2024. Like, where'd you get these pictures? Don't worry about it. Um, just tell like, us. We are in the photos. Yeah. So they're like, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's just like, you can see the guys. <laughs> you can see the guy's like hand right behind you guys. Like, it's like, a hey, hand is he's, touching he's like, someone's yeah, ass. He's eating your ass. <laughs> And there's somebody else eating they're, your ass. He's like, what? I thought she what did the, that. I thought that was her. It I didn't shows, know how she it did it. It shows her standing, like, confused. She walks in with a Gatorade, and, and you're just, like, moaning. <laughs> and that agent's eating your ass. <laughs> That sounds like a good Valentine's Day. That's shit, dude. Yeah. Whatever, whatever actually goes down here. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good one. Uh... 
yeah, I just chilled on my porch and had a cigar and I went and got some. I, hey, you know what? I've I've always kind of shit talked scotch because I've only ever had just like basic scotch. Don't breathe in your mic like that. I, I was breathing up. Mm-mm. Uh, Sorry, I got dizzy for a minute. He made me laugh crazy it was again. Really good. I've had five of these, dude. I can't even <laughs> close my fingers right now. Yeah. This is about to fall. It I'm just, just slips finish out because it's shatters. too heavy. It's too heavy. Just throw it. I can't pick it up. My arms don't work. Uh, but yeah, I just sat on my porch because I got some new scotch and I tried it and it was really good. It was a cigar malt. What? So of course, you know, I just said, you know what? It sounds like I should probably have a cigar with it. So Cigar malt. Yeah, it was, it's some deer brand. Let me look at the picture. I don't think Sorry deer for brand. <laughs> some brand made by deer. Uh, good that's, morning, everybody. Yeah, that's drive not your door. tires fucking popping. That's just Caleb burping. Yeah, just, burping. yeah turn the radio up at full volume and listen to us. Just you, But you voted. You voted. You said you wanted us to be fucked when we started yeah, the show. Jared's able to do it. I got to go film after this. So I wasn't able to get fully f- I did, I'm fully. I did one, uh, one dragon dizzy. dog. A dragon dog. Yeah, that was just the new... Uh, I could smell that thing from outside. It's, it's not as good as the, the blue rasp. What, there it is. The Dalmore. It's got a picture of a, a deer on it. The cigar malt. Uh, they recommended it there at the next door, Texas Cheer. And uh, it is delightful. I drank a little glass of it with my cigar, and I said, like, oh, shit, this is actually really nice. So, you know what? Maybe I like scotch. Maybe I just always had trash scotch. Uh, there's a few other things over there that I want to get from my little collection that I'm making of fancy sips. Yeah? Yeah, it's a good Fancy time. sips? Yeah, yeah. We'll do a tour up there. I've got a lot of new drinks since you were up there last. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah we'll do But tours. you've got plans tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I just got to film tonight mostly. Uh, I just got to do my job. You know, your job. I go, go to the coffee throw some shop. Throw coffee around. Or you throw coffee at Jack. Day. Yeah, this is a good one though. Uh, you guys will probably see. This is uh, one where it's kind of inspired by that one we did with Brett about Jared Milk. Oh, yeah. Uh, that one was fun and it did really well. You doing so, Heather Milk now? Yeah, well. <laughs> 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 but uh, no, it's uh, like we run out of almond milk. And I'm like, oh, let me just go to the back and get it. It's like a dark room and it's Heather with a whip, whipping Jack. And he's like <laughs> screaming and she's like squeezing almonds. He's like, ah, oh, there's no udders, there's no udders. And she's just like, squeeze it and like whip him. <laughs> and then it's just me like with that like like just blank face and like zoom in on me, mm-hmm. just like kind of like starting to smile. And then it'll show him or maybe Heather will hand it to me and she'll be like, here you go. And then I walk back out with the happy and all the milk. Yeah, send them off on their way. Keep just yeah. ruining Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the internet loves it. Yeah, when he's tortured, when Jack is tortured. Shot. Yeah, like, I don't know why they love it so much. We need to think of some other ways. Like, how is Jack in a brazen bull? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on one of those big spinning walls where we're throwing knives at. <laughs> We're just like, literally, He's literally, like, how does this make coffee? How does this even help with making coffee? And it's spinning, it's grinding the beans. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's, 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 that's the new that's grinder. grinder. <laughs> yeah, it's just jack. We have to, you have to throw knives at them to keep it spinning. Yeah, what? Yeah. How does this motor work? <laughs> we don't know. Fear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? It runs on fear. It how runs, did you guys make it? It runs on deal fear. Deal with the devil, dude. Dude. <laughs> it was, it was Ask a, Heather. She's yeah. the one that freaking she put it together. It yeah. <laughs> She's it's over there like scary. doing some weird freaking yeah. star prayer. Well, this isn't even a motor. It's just animal hearts. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah just, we, how are they all pumping still? <laughs> yeah. We don't know. Mm, that's scary. Like, you, dude, there's, there's a lot of wires over here. Exposed yeah. wires. <laughs> a lot of hearts. to the hearts. Yeah. yeah. And then it's just a big car battery. There's just hearts wires. A battery and a big cog. How does this work? <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude. I don't like, know how you figured it out, dude. I'm not an engineer, man, but you can ask. You know, that's one of them. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think like I, I I don't think you can turn it off. Yeah. No. It's. it's like, what do you mean? Good. It's just going forever. Like Jack, you're on this for the long run. What? What? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Welcome to hell, Sisyphus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. That'll be a good bean grinder. We'll make that. We need to build yeah. this. Yeah, and that could be like fun videos for us to do. I know we're talking about doing more fun coffee related videos in these meetings we've had. Just cool ways to make coffee would be fun. Or what if we just started ripping off like old gangster films and like made that instead of drugs, it's coffee. That could be fun. That yeah. would be we're really just, like, fun. Hustling coffee. We could yeah. do Dukes of Hazard, but but it's I've like, got the it's cars. Not, it's not you know alcohol. We're 
We're peddling. We're running coffee. beans, yeah, dude. We got the beans, dude. Yeah. Yeah. We're bean water adventures. Yeah, we're just BWA. Bean boys. Bean boys. <laughs> just you and bean I need, boys. You, you and I need some freaking yeah. uh, bowling shirts that just say bean, bean boys. boys. I would like that. Actually, that. I bet that would make Evan jealous. We yeah. should do that. Yeah, he'd be like, what? I want to be a bit. Yeah, like, that was like the the last time or when I was talking to him about the Jared Milk video. Yeah. I'm like, it has two million views. He goes, we want people to drink our fucking coffee. <laughs> Nobody wants to drink milk cool. from you. Actually, a lot of people seem to He like needs to make up his coffee. mind whether he needs to give you like just carte blanche carte control blanche or not. Carte blanche or like... Yeah, like, like yeah, one yeah, second yeah. he's like, oh, just go do stuff and we'll run it. Yeah. And the other side is like, hey, man... Dial it back. And then we yeah, do it. No, it gets millions. No, you can't yeah. do that. No. No. <laughs> we want them to it. like our stuff. Oh. oh. Okay. Whoa, whoops. I didn't know that me being milked in a freezer was <laughs> the line. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, we're not allowed to do that at our stores. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> I hate working here. <laughs> this sucks. Yeah. You can, I can't get milked in our own stores. <laughs> what, what kind of world are we living in when a man what? can just go into his own freezer and get milked? Yeah. At what when someone was willing to pay the premium for yeah, it, by for the, the way. Milk, yeah. yeah. It's expensive. It was very expensive. Yeah. What do you think your milk would be worth? Probably sixteen thousand an ounce. Yeah. That's probably. ambitious. Yeah. yeah. That's a, a, a shot. Because I feel like you'd have to use a, a paddle. Yeah, and you gotta to do like, a lot to like to like paddle my bottom first, because that gets me to lactate. Yeah, that, that's what starts <laughs> the milk flowing from the bottom. The milk <laughs> starts from the bottom. Why yeah, not? you gotta paddle. Yeah. You gotta paddle your bottom the balls out back. <laughs> <laughs> you have the balls. You have the balls tucked between, so they get smacked. Too. That's how you get the milk flowing. That's how you get the milk. Flowing. Okay, all right. Yeah. Oh, this is gross. This, is fucking, uh, <laughs> this starts like dribbling. Like it's, how do you get smacked? Right away, you like you get smacked. Hit like, me. <laughs> so like drops this start coming. You coming out of your cups. Like, what? what the fuck? That Works. <laughs> Hit him again. Yeah. Harder this time. Hit him with like a knife a now. <laughs> I'm picturing a hand underneath it holding, and it's just spraying all over their hand like a like a <laughs> like a fucking fa- faucet or something oh, that has like a thumb. What if in we it? made this like a black and white infomercial, like from the fifties, on how to milk a man? Like, <laughs> like, you're, you're like spanking a dude. It's, it's just spraying out. Everywhere. It's like somebody with a cup holding like all over their. They've got their goggles hand. and a hard hat on. Yeah. Milk mustache. <laughs> it's just like going everywhere. Why? Why is there a milk mustache? It's just going into his face, and he just keeps drinking. <laughs> <laughs> You're done drinking the product. Yeah, that's why it's taking so long to get it out. He keeps drinking. <laughs> oh God, dude, we got an indie car sponsor. Yeah, yeah, we have a whole car like it's an F one. <laughs> How to milk a man? What? what is this? <laughs> yeah, and now a word from our sponsors. Man. <laughs> ABC bans yeah, like us from ever them. putting on a commercial on TV for life. <laughs> yeah, they have to shut down the whole fucking race. <laughs> Can't do it anymore. You guys aren't allowed to race anymore. You guys need to stop. Give it up. Like hey, you made everybody sick. Yeah, all that milk you gave everybody you before didn't even the race. Pasteurize his milk. Yeah, yeah this that's, is- dude, okay. Well, okay, now we're getting, we're just trading into a fucking episode of Tim and Eric. That's all that was. Did you ever see that episode? No. I think Tim started uh, lactating, and Eric started like bottling it, and they just started giving it to everybody, and they were selling it, and like and that shit like a big factory, and he was just like milking him all the time, and like there was like scabs on his nipples all always, and they were oh, like, spraying, and they forgot to pasteurize it, and then he's like uh, at the end of the episode, they're like, oh, they're like, hey, you pasteurize that, right? And he, and he looks at him and he goes. And then it shows, like, everybody in their homes drinking milk on Christmas, and they'll take, like, one sip, and then they're just, like, and then they're just, like, dying. Because, you know, he always used, like, Craigslist actors. It'd be, like, old men in their house, and they'd, like, fall. Like, the milk would be, like, pouring everywhere. Oh, dear. It was so funny. But, yeah, that's where we're, <laughs> we're treading there now. Man, man. Pour them. Yeah. Oh. If you have listened to other amazing podcasts like Mike Glover, Black Rifle Coffee's podcast, or even Joe Rogan, you've definitely heard about Firecracker Farms Hot Salt. This salt is absolutely delicious. It adds a hint of spice to 
anything that you want to eat without changing the flavor of the thing that you're eating. I use it on everything from breakfast to sandwiches at lunch and soup at dinner, pasta, everything. This hot salt makes everything better, but it does not go good in your eyes. And this little pusher is awesome. It is like solid steel. You could beat someone in the head with it if they were maybe trying to rob you or something during a meal. But I put this stuff on everything, my eggs in the morning, steaks, but uh, basically anything else that you need a little kick, a little extra taste to, put this on it, just a few pops, you're ready for some yum yum time. So don't put it in your eyes, put it in your food, it's great, that's firecracker.farm, code PIE for 20% off your order. But I mean, if we had an F1 team for the man milking, I think we just need to, I wish that we could just get a partnership with milk. Like, I, like I Dairy want, Farmers I, of America? Like I Big want, Milk? I want to work for Big Milk. Big Milk. Yeah. Can well, we look into the camera and tell them. Milk, if you're watching. <laughs> milk, <laughs> if, you're watching. <laughs> if you're watching. Dude, at least address Mr. Milk. Big, Mr. Mr. Doctor, milk, sir. Dr. Milk. milk. The Honorable Senior. Mr. Milk. Yeah. Yeah. Milk C CEO. Uh, if you're watching, I'd love to work for you. I'd love to make milk ads. Oh, man, that would be the dream, dude, to start doing Got Milk ads again. Yeah. And I got to, like, imagine Got Milk ads that were, like, how the, you know, Tim and Eric, the Old Spice commercials that they did, or, like, just how our commercials Imagine if are. Got Milk, like, let us do whatever we want. But yeah, they just, like, they're like, take it. It's yours. Do, like, hey, do milk. We want to bring this back, but we want everyone to talk about it. We go, we're just the guys. We're the guys. Yeah. Yeah, Dude. Jared and Caleb's freshly yanked bull milk. No, I don't want to do that one. <laughs> yeah, no, they're not gonna want yeah, that. One. Yeah, don't listen to him, big yeah, milk. yeah. Don't listen to freshly that one. yanked no, 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 bull no. milk. They're not gonna want. Dude, you're fucking one. first up on yanking. No, no, they're not gonna want that one. Yeah, but they're you gotta say, yank first. Like, mm, no, that's kind. Yeah, we, we can't do that one. <laughs> we've got we've got these steel traps to put their hooves in, so you can yank uninterrupted. Yeah. <laughs> They can't kick you. They're just screaming. <laughs> ah, you're just jerking the hell out. Ah, and then they just pass out. <laughs> and then it's just... Yeah, and you're just feeling a huge tub up with it. No, it's like a gallon. Yeah. Like, and then you put the cap on and, and like... Wipe it, it off. Heat it up and wipe it off. Yeah. And you're like, here you go. And you here stick it is. in the H-E-B. Yeah. Three ninety nine For a gallon? Yeah. That's... It's it's very good, reasonably priced. It's a good price for that. Well, yeah. to be fair, it's thick and it's really so gross. It's so thick, dude. <laughs> it's so gross. It's kind of off white. Like, it's a little yellow. <laughs> this doesn't taste good at all. No, it's a it's an electrolyte milk. <laughs> this tastes <laughs> bleachy. This is like salt <laughs> and grass. This is very, this is very salty. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this hurts to drink. This feels like it's making. I don't my, want any more this of this. My teeth hurt. Here, give me yeah. a few ice cubes. Yeah, can I cool this down? <laughs> can it's I cool boiling. this? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure to boil your bowl of milk before you drink it? What? It's you so, just gotta pour it in a pot. It's so and, thick. You're yeah. kind of chewing it. You're. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> You'd probably make a chowder with it. <laughs> it's already chowder. <laughs> yeah, you just throw it, some clams yeah, in. Yeah, you just throw it. Throw oh. some <laughs> clams. God. <laughs> just put a bunch of. Full size clams in it. Just canned clams and fucking bull semen. Oh, <laughs> this is no. awful. Oh, <laughs> that's already so salty too. <laughs> and they're fresh clams, so you get like little chunks of sand in there. Oh, some dude. Grit in it. And there's some bacon bits mm. and some chives, and you got like full bull cum clam chowder. Oh, B C C C. <laughs> It's mm -hmm. bees with a lot of C's. Damn. BC3. 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 Yeah. There you go. BC3. Yeah, it's on the menu. Do you want that? No. No, God, no. No, do not order no, that. No, no, no. Whatever you do, do not order BC3. Oh, but I kind of want to know what it is. No, don't you don't. don't. It stinks. <laughs> it stinks so bad. We need to stop making it. The it's onions and the clams. fucking the whole kitchen up. Yeah. The onions and the clams. Keeps, people keep spilling it. <laughs> Every time we get it out of the fridge, it spills. Onto other it's food. sticking to everything. Damn it, like, open the fridge. It's like, it's sideways. It's, <laughs> it's, it's poured onto everything else. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Oh, we got bull cum on ah, everything. On the steaks. <laughs> Damn we're, we're not closing, though. We gotta, Just put we them gotta, on the grill. Yeah, Just rinse fry. them off a little bit and put them on the grill. It's too much of a hit. We'd be, <laughs> we'd be down. 
if we didn't make it. Dude, I bet this has happened before. That someone had a in gallon a- of bullcorn <laughs> in their restaurant fridge and accidentally spilled it onto all of their other ingredients. Yeah. So we're like, I can't take this loss. I'm a, I'm a new business. I cannot take this loss. I got to cook it all up. Yeah. Yeah, I bet that happened. No way. Have you ever seen Kitchen Nightmares with Gordon Ramsay? And we should make Let's an episode. Let's call Gordon Ramsay. Let's Ramsey's make an episode of that. <laughs> and he comes to our restaurant, and that's the shit that goes <laughs> on. <laughs> we get, we get fucking <laughs> spilled bullcum. <laughs> and we're just like clueless. We're like, yeah, the bullcum goes in the back next to the mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, dude. I think I have an idea. Because this was a fan favorite, by the way. I'm going to do this. And uh, we're gonna set we're going to set him the scene. And then we're gonna make him do Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I'm calling Texas Dave. Oh, that'd be funny. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give him the scenario. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't be busy, Dave. He's probably doing car stuff. Dude, he probably is driving something. Yeah. Damn it. Fine. Yeah, he's, he's probably doing car stuff. Dude, he's but probably. Uh, man, imagine we could get real Gordon here for that and get him in on it. Or just not, and just have him a fake or, or restaurant. He thinks that it's a restaurant. Like, and we just have the worst ingredients in there. It's and he's it, looking in there, and he's like, looking at it's like, why do you, why do you have this <laughs> in the? <laughs> it's one of our main dishes. Why do you have this in the same fridge right now? Number one, no like, lid. <laughs> and it's and it has a rounded bottom. <laughs> yeah, so it's like it's, it's like, like it teeters. <laughs> yeah, it teeters. It's like just leaned sitting against there, the wall. Like you like open the fridge and it's it like tilts. it's like Ugh. you gotta catch it when it comes you out. Gotta, like, put your it hands splashes on out. It. <laughs> he's like, what is this? He's like he, he's he would be so mad, dude. That's the bull. He would be so we're like that's bullcum. <laughs> bullcum. He's like, what fucking dish do you use this for? <laughs> Most of them. Uh, I mean mashed potatoes uh, with <laughs> bull- Bullcum gravy. <laughs> just mashed potatoes. <laughs> we just boil <laughs> Pour out a couple of fucking potatoes. <laughs> it's, just, it's just three potatoes just on a plate and we just drizzle. <laughs> like they're just hot potatoes that we microwave. And they're like, he's like, he would be irate, dude. He would be losing his fucking mind, man. This is a German like, dish. This is a German dish. This is a German dish. This is a German Potatoes and bullcum. Dude. Oh, you like honestly, like we need to shoot kitchen nightmares where Texas Dave plays Gordon Ramsay yeah. and you and I have a fake restaurant. Let's see who will give us their restaurant and yeah, Bernie to, to shoot this. To Dude, I was thinking if there was any way, pro- I bet, I bet, uh, Brendan Rogers would be an amazing Gordon Ramsay as well. If, I bet, yeah, yeah, yeah I bet. He'd Damn, be I haven't really, talked to him in a while. Yeah, no, I bet he'd be really funny as him as well. Dude. Dave can do yeah. spot on. He's calling us in one minute. Okay. So he's going to, like, we're, we'll give him the premise. Thank I you, mean, shit. And we just keep saying, thank you, chef. <laughs> thank you. Like, yeah, chef. Thank you, chef. <laughs> yeah, thank you, chef. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's like, no. I, no, he's no like, that wasn't a compliment. You, you we have, have our fridge. hands behind our back the yeah, whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. chef has. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, chef. <laughs> he's like, no, no, that wasn't a compliment. And, and he's and like, like, you two should not be anywhere near a fucking kitchen thank you chef <laughs> no that wasn't no. a that wasn't a time that you think you did. thank oh, you chef okay so you you will not we don't shouldn't have the cum we should <laughs> we, we shouldn't he use. would explode <laughs> he would explode this is this, this this is up there. Yeah, this is up there on one of the funniest really things that funny. we've come up with. Yeah, that'd be is you and I. <laughs> we just are we have the pictures of us back to back as chefs, and it's like us, and a bunch like, of articles and yeah, stuff like, written in Bernie <laughs> that are like how great it is. We're like, but chef, we've been lauded, like we've won awards. He's yeah. like, what fucking awards? <laughs> what fucking awards? We have a whole case out front <laughs> of all the awards. Best coming. <laughs> It's like, like this is gross. Be, most creative edition of bullcum. 
What? <laughs> yeah. This is fucking. It's like articles from farmers. Are like, I didn't know what to do with all my bull cum. Yeah, yeah. Now I know. Until Jared Caleb's restaurant is great. Restaurant I'll just bring it in here in pails. Yeah. yeah. What? My old yeah. bull cum. We yeah. just have, it's it's like on the exterior of the building, it just has a Gutters chute. Gutters pouring like, into it. <laughs> a chute for farmers to just dump oh. buckets <laughs> and it's just everywhere. It's at the bottom. <laughs> In the basement, it's just like a it's just like a, a coal chute. In the, in, the, in the basement, it's just like a drippy old ru- rusty metal slide oh, that just like is an old bucket with like. Come oh, it's just <laughs> overfilled. Dude. It's so it's, you it's, go to the basement, you're it's like, like an inch of it. <laughs> There's so much. We're like, yeah, we, we took too on much. the truck in the area. It's too much. <laughs> We've been like, fuck, what the fuck? He comes down and takes his last step onto the floor. <laughs> Dude, he's like, what the fuck what is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, this is how we collect. <laughs> we, we, we just make pancakes out of it all the time. <laughs> That's we we don't add anything. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> <cum>. <laughs> and the syrup is cum too. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just fried cum. With no, cum. no, no, that's, no! This that's is that's awful. Every time they break this menu, <laughs> he would die, dude. Gordon Ramsay would literally put a double barrel shotgun in his mouth. <laughs> On camera and be like, I am done. This is, but this is it. You and I have the real kitchen nightmare. No, like, <laughs> it's more of a yes. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he's like, no. He's so mad. No. He's so mad, dude. Dude. <sighs> <laughs> we gotta have a kids menu too, though. Oh God. <laughs> Ooh, wait, wait. Let me stop. Let me stop you there. <laughs> Creepy crawlers. <laughs> you remember that old the the molds and that's yeah. all it is. Creepy crawlers. <laughs> and we just dump it into that and oh, make God. bug molds for kids. Buh. Buh. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> that's the only thing on the kids menu. <laughs> Creepy crawlers. <come. laughs> Creepy cum crawlers. They're like, why? Why does this restaurant exist? Like, he, this is a fucking kitchen nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I'm fucking burning up. I know, dude. I'm hot. Ugh. I'm hot. Like, oh, dude. Damn. Yeah, we probably couldn't have a kids menu. Are you sure? I mean, probably not. We'd probably no, get, no, we'd no, probably no, get no, arrested. No, no. no, but I just mean like <clears throat> us truly showing Gordon Ramsay a kitchen nightmare. Yeah. That's funny as shit. That'd be really good. Why has no one done this though? Like Why where has no it's one a set real... up like a fake restaurant that was just insane, just for him to be like, "What the fuck? What like, the fuck? What? That would You're be doing so what? funny." And then we make sure that it's always full too. Yeah, like so like everybody is it. everyone it's packed, loves and it, he's dude. just like, he's like, because he always thinks he has to come in and save the yeah, restaurant, yeah, but yeah. we're like, we think we need more seating. He's like, Wh- "Why? What?" He's like, "Because we don't have enough seats for everybody. Like, there's always a line." Yeah. He's like. There's a fucking line, <laughs> and you're serving fucking bull cum. <laughs> people love it. People love it. Like he, he's like going up to people that are there, and they're like, mm, like they, can't, they can't even talk. They're like, they like shoo him away. They're all paid actors. Yeah, he doesn't know that we. Hey, I'm trying to. Hey, hey, I'm trying to eat cum. Here. I'm trying to enjoy this meal right now. Even the wait staff is like, we make fifty an hour. This is great here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, they're like, this is insane. This is and people tip us like a hundred dollars yeah, every it. meal. Yeah. That's atrocious. Yeah, it's so... Jared and Caleb's real kitchen nightmares. This is a video we have to do. Yeah. We have to get Dave a wig. Yeah. He's going to be Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. And we do the altar... Like, I'll get somebody in Bernie to give us a restaurant. I mean, Tim would let us have O'Brien's. Yeah, probably. So we could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just be in their kitchen. He's like... (laughs) Dude, opening that fridge yeah. and that 
fucking thing just teetering <clears throat> all over everything. Like, and it's just oh no, it's on the stakes. Giant vats on the on the eyes all the time that are always boiling. You just open it up and that's all it is. It's just like bubbling. <laughs> what and what is this? It's more cum. <laughs> More fucking cum. Yeah. More fucking yeah. cum. Yes, chef. <laughs> More fucking cum. <laughs> Always. <laughs> yes, chef. <laughs> do we ju- do we only serve cum? No, okay. I mean it, like we, we have a whole stuff. menu. We just yeah, we fuck just everything up. On stuff. Yeah, yeah, it, it okay. always accidentally gets. It's never on purpose. Yeah, either. we actually just like, spill it. Onto yeah, it. it's we, always spilled. This used to be a cum storage factory for bulls. Yeah, but and they still like we're, they're not out of the place yet. But personal bulls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just like we share a fridge with them. Here he is. We've got. Hello. Yo. Um, you're on time for pie again, but this time get ready. Oh no! Uh, no, take my clothes off this time. Now you're G- Gordon Ramsay and you're on Kitchen Nightmares, but this is Jared and Caleb's real Kitchen Nightmares. So yeah. you've shown up and you've opened our fridge, and we have a giant wobbly vat of bull cum that is leaking onto all the other food for the restaurant. <laughs> How does Gordon react to that? Which one of you can paint another cut? has 33 gallons of mayonnaise and pancake batter mixed together in the fucking fridge. <laughs> Which one of you miserable, full cum drinking piles of dog shit has filled my otherwise perfectly good Frigidaire LPC 317, which every one of our viewers has access to by Lowe's or Home Depot, with bull cum. <laughs> and Caleb and I just keep going, thank you, chef. Yes, chef. <laughs> Please immediately dunk your face in here and then look me in the eyes and tell me who is my good cum drizzled little shit boy. <laughs> <laughs> and did you realize that we've been serving everything covered in this bull cum? <laughs> but, but the restaurant is packed. Like, people love it. Like, 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 of course it is. What? Mm. Of course it's packed. Yeah. It's, yeah. Packed. it's packed. It's packed full of people coming in frothy, freshly ladled fucking bull cum. Little yeah. Oliver stepping up. Thanks, sir. May I have some more? <laughs> mm. We think that we need to dress you as Gordon Ramsay, and we do the actual kitchen nightmares where you show up to mine and Caleb's restaurant. God, I'm so horned up right now. <laughs> I just can't wait, dude. But like, but like, uh, but like is, but like, the bull come because if we're not, I'm fucking out. No, that's it. That's the episode. You realize okay. that we have, uh, like, there's boiling vats. Everything that you open up is just bull come. <clears throat> Which is honestly not too far from Taco Bell. I'm pretty convinced that Taco Bell's entire menu is just one product at with different flavors and then temperatures in it. I mean, they've it proven is. the model. Yeah, it's you just, just a one of things. Things. You just have five different temperature settings and 13 color additives, and then you stick it in a fucking tortilla. Yeah, and you know? different shapes. I mean, and different yeah, shapes. Pretty good. Yeah, and different shapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different Come Bell, you guys got this, dude. But you've got Gordon Ramsay down. You could be Gordon Ramsay for us. I am Gordon Ramsay, you sniveling little cunt. <laughs> yeah, whenever you're ready, dude, I'll just bleach my fucking hair and start. And piece dude, of shit. dude, Caleb and I just keep going. Thank you, Chef. You're like, this yeah. is not. This is not. <laughs> time to this isn't a compliment. Yeah. Me for what? Sorting out you two cum dribbling little shits. <laughs> okay, well I'll go. I'll go to the. I'll go to fucking restaurant depot then and get my my funny little hat. And uh, all right, we're gonna get guys, ours too. You guys yeah. start boiling your cum, and I'll be there in a bit. All right, see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, he could pull it off. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. That's it. We the uh, the actual it's actual kitchen nightmares. I mean, we could do we could do a number of these too. Yeah, like, but you and I we just keep, keep having different. Shut, we keep getting shut down. <laughs> shut down. So we, we open up a new restaurant. New. We're, we're trying to hide. We look we're just trying a little different. We have like different mustache. mustaches, he's and like different eyebrows and stuff. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's like, it's the same. T- <laughs> he goes, no, no, absolutely no. not, no. absolutely not. It's literally like even the same sign, just like yeah. crossed out with magic marker. Yeah, yeah. it's like tilted a little bit. Yeah. 
Oh, God. Yeah, we just put a bed sheet over it and spray paint the new name. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a, it's like a sheet. taped <laughs> fitted sheet with like tape ends. Spray paint. Spray paint, but you could see the old sign behind yeah. the sheet. Like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It says no cum this time. Yeah, no, we, what? we don't serve cum. We don't it's serve like cum. Being like, uh, it's on the menu, yeah. like pictures of us. Our on hands the on the Bible. We don't serve cum. <laughs> <laughs> Like a picture of it. Dude, you and I just need to get a photo of you and I with a hand on a Bible. That way, anytime <laughs> someone was like, are you telling the truth? Or we just sent that photo. Like, and mm. it's just us looking at the camera like, mm. like <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I think we should build our own amusement park. I mean, we've, you've talked about this so many times. We know how to, like, buy plywood. Yeah. Yep, step and, one. And... We know that there's a, a big market of uh, roller rinks and bowling alleys and all these used. Oh, man. Remember when we were designing that? Yeah. That I can't believe we got crazy. away from that. Yeah. What did you switch to? I think it was just because there was so many problems at the farmhouse. And you're like, yeah. oh, well, let's fix that. Oh, uh, we got to fix everything first. Yeah. We were going to build a rolling rink yeah. with a bowling alley and a bar. Oh, yeah, the big bedroom. Yeah. My, the, my the, what, what did we call it? 30 the, by 30. The, the, the master bed or <laughs> it was like something? It's like it was like nap room. <laughs> yeah, it was like the adult nap room yeah, yeah, or whatever. Just go in there it was just one tired. giant mattress. Yeah, yeah, from wall to wall. You oh, that would stink. That yeah, just sounds like a fuck room. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it, is. it is. No one's cleaning shit up. No, <laughs> not there. Yeah. It's fucking nasty, man. Oh, gross. But it'd be so cool. Would it? Yeah. Imagine, like, just reliving your childhood at a, like, you just have your own personal roller rink and bowling alley. And I think go, we should do that. You someone in the back. I think we could do that. Yeah. I, I think we do, like, what? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I think we should. Yeah. I think we should do a roller rink with a bowling alley yeah. and a bar. And then we finger people in the <laughs> <laughs> What? That's, what, that's why we're building this, bro. <laughs> You're just what? trying to build a little amusement park so you can relive your high school years, but good. Yeah, but now I'm an adult. <laughs> well, I'm going to need a bus. For people to finger? Yeah, because that's like, where I do. you have so many. Of, oh, no, oh, okay. I just remember. Just yeah, I remember. I remember Freak on a Leash playing. Wow, you did a fingering? Yeah. Whoa. At, at the fair, and we were working the fair. So, like, we were there to, like... Help as volunteers for the fair. We were on the back of the bus. You definitely did not wash your hands beforehand. Fuck no. Yeah, you were touching all kinds of. I had rides. Yeah, Yeah, there was a lot of. She was sick. I was probably digging like dirt, like like dirt track holes. Yeah, like I'd been building bike jumps and everything. Hot dogs. Yeah, I at least chili and dirt and (laughs) chili and everything, dude. (laughs) It was everything. But Freak on a Leash was playing. That's why every time I hear that song, I get kind of horny. You smell your fingers. Like, oh, I'm just like, like, I'm like, oh, man. Oh, this is the back of the bus that day. That was so cool. Yeah, I want to I mean, you're trying to get around jeans, too, that are just, like, tight. Yeah. But they were low cut. It was the 90s. Yeah, so yeah. Like, so you could slip But still, in. like, yeah, it, still there was like, a lot of hurt. Yeah, your wrist, wrist is in a egg. weird you're like, position. Yeah. You're like, oh. You're like, I can't, sorry, this isn't as good as it gets. Like, yeah, if, hey. If these like, pants were off, this would yeah, be better for this you. This would be so good. Yeah. This is just like a taser. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I guess the first time I did that was like with a, a, dude? Like a girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> finger of dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Going in the bag. <laughs> No, but with an actual <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, it was like the like there's the same sweep was Yeah, uh, I was I had a girlfriend. That yeah, was a yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, thing. it was like the same sweep was the first time I had sex too. Damn yeah. the same week? It was the same like I, I fingered her and then we had sex. It was like, like a couple days later? No, the same time. The same oh yeah, it was like she it was like, pulled around and then we went You were like knocking it down. This go is already going on, so let's go. So yeah, that was great. Um That was it, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, there was plenty of times in middle school that, like, things almost happened. And I was like, hey, I'm a little boy. <laughs> I remember saying that, too. Don't be the devil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't you dare be the bedevil. But, uh, yeah, I think that Dude, was- I was brave. When I was in eighth grade, yeah. like, we had, like, a bed sheet in the living room. And there's a whole ass Fourth of July party going on. Okay. With... Her mom and dad, like, 
maybe 20 feet away. We're watching Terminator 2. Yeah. And, like, I'm full <clears throat> hands in. She's full fucking cranks. Damn. Like, and finishes me, like, what? everywhere. Like, wow. Like, what? they're having margaritas. Like, you could, I could make eye contact with her parents. That was ballsy, dude. Uh, like, I would never do that as an adult now, even if it's my friends in the kitchen. <laughs> I mean, I probably, probably would. would. But yeah. Uh, okay. Like, my first girlfriend that, like, I first, like, ever fooled around with was when it was seventh grade. And that was, like, when we first started, like, making out and we'd fool around and stuff. And I remember, like, we went to the movies and, like, she pulled her tits out. And I was, like, squeezing on her tits in the movie theater and stuff. And I remember that being, like, crazy. Like, I was, like, so dizzy and hot. I was, like, oh, my God, this is so awesome. This is insane. And then we went home that night, and, like, she, you know, came to my house for a little bit, and we watched, like, another movie downstairs, and, like, you know, my parents and everybody left me alone for a while. She was, like, we were making out, and she was, like, up on top of me, and she, like, pulled her tits out, and I was, like, sucking them and stuff, and, like, she would, like, just be, like, rubbing my dick through my pants, and then, like, my sister, I remember, came downstairs, and we'd have to, like, stop. <clears throat> but, yeah, that was as far as I ever went with her, because we, like, I remember she was, like, very horny, and I was like always so nervous. I was like, "Oh shit, oh shit!" Like, like this is awesome, but she she brought a condom to school, uh, like during one of my ball games, like I, when I played basketball, and she was like, "We're gonna fuck after y- your your game," and I was like, "Oh shit!" Oh, shit. oh my god, that's yeah, fucking like ballsy, grade, dude. dude. She's like, "We're gonna go out because we would before my game, we would go and like we'd make out out back and like kind of like you know fill each other up and stuff." You know, and then she's like, I brought this. She's like, so we can fuck after your game. And I was like, oh, fuck. Because I was like, I was 12. Yeah. And I was like, man, I was like, dude, oh, shit. But I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Well, I that, like, that was like, being the, like, hey, I was like, I can't do this. I was like, I was like, I'm, we're, we're 12. I was like, the end of seventh grade, yeah. like, I was sitting in the back with a bunch of the popular hot girls. I always sat near them yeah. as much as I could. Sure. You know, just to like, I get it, yeah. Look at them, yeah. smell them. Smell them. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, Give maybe them help them. Smell. Oh, hey, I'm going to pass you a note. <laughs> that type of thing. Yeah. Uh, but I remember towards the end of seventh grade, like the hottest one, like the the true alpha yeah. of like our grade, like came in and she, she gave all the girls an envelope. Mm-hmm. And they opened it up, and it was a green condom, and it said, green means go. So she was like, Let's we're in seventh grade. It's time, girls. Yeah. Say yes. <clears throat> and I was like, bro, I thought about that for fucking three years. Yeah. Of, like, everybody that got the green means go yeah, colored. Yeah. That's nuts. What the fuck? Man? Yeah, I didn't actually do it. That was... Uh I didn't have sex until my senior year of high school. Even after all that, I like I was a junior. Like, I was like chill. I was like, be a good boy. Be a good boy. I mean, and you had a seventh grade girlfriend. Like I brought this. Yeah, like yeah, seventh grade. She's like, let's fucking go. I was like, oh fuck. You should have. I probably should have. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she was a babe. Yeah. Uh, You'd probably like still have her now. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, you she's probably got a, would. Like, she's got a whole family. No, 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 <laughs> not if. You, but you would have been the whole family now. <laughs> You guys would live upstairs right here. <laughs> probably not. Yeah, yeah, you would. I don't think. I think my life. Dude, would you'd probably have worse. a. You'd probably have a yacht. Probably like, not. Yeah, no, maybe. I probably, I probably wouldn't have done any of these things. I would have been like working in the coal mines. <laughs> all these kids. And she's like, yeah, hey, yeah you have six yeah, kids. Could you imagine kids. right now? You have six kids with the girl that you banged in seventh grade. <laughs> now yeah. she's like. I would just like. Yeah. She she like overburned her hair during a perm, so she's. <laughs> I'm just in the mines yeah. all day trying to pay for one of these kids. She's like, I got you a tall boy Budweiser. I'm like, thank You're you. Like, uh, and here's it. a TV dinner. Thank you. I love it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's got. Could have been that way. Salisbury steak with yeah. mashed potatoes and Ooh, peas. I'll be like, <laughs> like, okay, all right. Here you go, Caleb. And then a Budweiser. And that's it. And you just hear kids screaming, like 18 of them. <laughs> 18 kids. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just had we had a child every year. <laughs> yeah, from the time that you. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? <laughs> I don't want any of this. Walk right out by now. Yeah, yeah, one just like runs by and hits you with a hammer. He would <laughs> You're yeah, just like, little oh. shit. <laughs> no, I think thankfully none of that happened. I made better just better choices. Uh, uh, I think did I talked about that on the yeah. We already talked about that on the podcast. You know, I, my uh, the girlfriend in high school was the hottest girl in school. It was 
it was great. It was a really proud. Hottest girl in the school, huh? E- easily. I would still stand by that. How the hell did you beg I'm funny. Oh, that's, stop. And, then I, and that's when that I That doesn't matter I in high my school. Long, my long blonde hair, too. So I was funny and just like the only blonde guy in school. That so was just like, like Fabio? Yeah, I'm just like whipping just my, flicking my around. long blonde hair. I'm like, what's up? I don't play sports because I don't give a shit. I'm a skateboarder. Yeah, those, them yeah. sports are dumb. Those shit's dumb. Oh, I'm, you got to go I'm, to practice? I don't got to oh, do shit. That's silly. I'm boxing. I, and yeah. I'm, I'm silly. Sorry, I got I to gotta go to fucking fight practice yeah i'm doing silly shit yeah so that was fun yeah she was so hot and then what? like i think about uh, uh okay how is this for you um she still might have been like arguably like the best at giving head like when i think about it like deep down i don't know if it's just because it was my first and it was so awesome yeah but like in my head i'm like i'm like man like that could have been the best. Really? Yeah. It was At, awesome. In teenage years? Yeah. No. It was awesome. Not it for was, one second, dude. I don't know, dude. I, like, even after all these years, like, I've had, like, some that were, like, really good, really give it their all. But uh, I don't know. Maybe it was just because it was, like, first love, first, you know. BJ, yeah, but still, you should be able seems- to know now of, like, hey, who is really good, who just. Does it? I think it was her, man. Like when I think about it, I'm like, I like she was like wild she was and awesome. sloppy. She was, oh, it was so yeah, dude. <laughs> and just switched it up, dude. Like it, always. Like, that was. She was one of the only ones who like could make me finish from that, and like very fast. A lot of really, times. yeah. Like I, I've had other girlfriends get pissed off at me. They're like, "What's going on? You're just like, come!" And I'm like, uh, I'm no, like I'm "Okay, never, that's not helping. No, I'm never gonna do that's it. Not helping. Shit. Yeah." <laughs> And uh, but yeah, yeah, I think I think she was the the best at that. Interesting. Yeah, that Pretty would be cool. Well, how'd she develop it so so I, early? Uh, because I mean, you need. I think, she, I think she had a few boyfriends before me. <laughs> what? I think she had a few serious boyfriends I mean, before me. This isn't a skill that you're just naturally like amazing at. Like you have to learn it. I think just some girls love sucking dick more than others, and they just are and into just, like, it. And it when they're all. into it, yeah, they give it their all. Yeah. yeah, I would, I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah. You sure. could definitely tell somebody that's giving it their yeah, all. Yeah, you could be like, you know what? Like, I'll, I'll do it because, I, yeah, I'll, I'll do it because I like this person. But then you have people who are like, I'm in love with the person and I also love to suck dick. Yeah. So it's like, I'm gonna know, that's when you're like, ah. Pile drive this yeah. thing. Like this I'm is. suck this thing off. I'm trying to eat this thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is my job Bless. for the next, you know, yeah. uh, if. Clocking in. Yeah, yeah. Clocking in. Like, yeah. we'll see how fast yeah. I can see do this. how quick I can get this eight hour shift done. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 40 seconds. Damn, yeah. Yeah. Remember, <clears throat> there, was, there was a big snowstorm. And we weren't able, this is like when we like were having sex like all the fucking time. And uh, it was a big snowstorm and I didn't get to see her for like two weeks because like all the roads were crazy. Like nobody could get anywhere. And the first time we hooked back up again after, like she, like my dick was just out. And she like just touched it with her vagina and I came everywhere. Like it wasn't even in her. Like it just like grazed my dick and I came everywhere, dude. It was awesome. <laughs> like I was just like so into it and so like pumped. And uh, it was hilarious. Yeah, it was a good time. Dude, I, I remember a snowstorm. I was at my girlfriend's house at the time when I was a teenager, and she was wearing gray sweatpants, and she just walked over. Like, I had just got to the house. Yeah. Um, and I, I, like, I don't remember, like, if I knew what we were going to do or, like, why. Like, like I she lived close, so I was able to drive in mm-hmm. the snow I got there and she just like walked over from across the room like with the fucking shoulder because she was had a little bit of G in her like a little ghetto <laughs> like and and she like looked up at me and then pulled her gray sweatpants out and looked down and I was just like memory that sticks with me to this day yeah. I'm like it's hot dude and then she just turned around and walked the other way and that was like, like that was just the greeting. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, check Jesus. this out. Check out this cool okay, thing you, you know, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh man, like, like I remember in that moment, I was like, this is why I'm with you. Yeah, like, 
you said she had a little G in her. It yeah, made, she was a little thuggy. It made me think of this whenever I first came to visit and I was doing the Tinder game down here yeah. and I uh, met this girl. Actually, she hit me up on Twitter. She was coming into my streams and flirting with me and then hit me up on Twitter. And uh, she was like, she reminded me of the Cash Me Outside girl. Like the way she talked <laughs> and her attitude. She didn't look anything like her. She was fucking stacked. Like super babe. But she talked like that and like was like so forward and horny. Like it was awesome. But like we talked for like three days and then she was like she came here and uh you were gone somewhere. Okay, I don't remember yeah. Yeah. yeah, she she came here and I was just like got I got a spoon. We were <coughs> I got a spoon, we were hanging out for a minute. And you know, just showing her around. She's like, she's like, oh, she's like, this is awesome. She's like, so where's your bed? Like, where's your fucking bed? Yeah, she like she. I was like, I was like, okay. I was like, in here. And we went to the bedroom, just laid on the bed talking, and we just like chit chatting. She's like, can I take my pants off? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> she like took her pants off, and then like took her shirt off. She's just like laying on the covers, and she's like talking and stuff. But then it's like, like. She gets like irritated at it. She like we're just chit chatting. Then she's like, "All right, can I can I take my panties off too?" And I was like, "Sure." Yeah. <laughs> and You're like, "Oh, let's put those back on." <laughs> no, yeah, no, that smells. No, dude, she she was a babe. Yeah, it was it it was all really great, but it was just so hilarious, like how forward she was. And then that, but then what was the uh uh? And then she, she was like, she uh, we just started making out like uh. We were talking, and then she just kept getting, like, closer and closer. She's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then we just started making out, and then we fucked. And what happened to this one? She was fucking crazy, obviously. She was, like, some Air Force girl. Kaylee. Yeah, yeah. Obviously from that, she, like, dude, she would, like, roast me all the time because, like, other girls would, like, comment on my shit, and she'd be like, who's this bitch? <laughs> You're like, oh. I was fuck. like, I don't even know. Like, Go we cut her. We, yeah, we hung out. Show me how much you like me. We hung out that time. And then we hung out one more time. We went on a date in Austin, and we went to some park there and walked around and, like, just, like, looked at shit, and it was, like, you know, pretty. But, like, we were just, like, fooling around the whole time. Like, we'd come to a bench, and, like, there'd be nobody around for a second, and then she'd, like, be, like, grabbing my dick, and we'd, like, make out, and I'd be, like, rubbing her vagina and stuff, and then, like, people would come by, and we'd just, like, oh, oh, we're blah, just, blah. We're just enjoying the we're park right now. So well, we're so nice. Uh, this but, is yeah, great. that was the last time I hung out with her. But then she, like, when I went home and, you know, was getting everything ready there, dude, she would just, like be a bitch like all the time like messaging me like who's this bitch oh well who's this bitch commenting on who's this bitch in Dude, your stream Jesus and I was like holy like, shit I, I was like anything. I don't know I was like these are just strangers I was like calm down but she'd give me a bunch of attitude and I'd be like hey I was like, I was like you're not gonna talk to me like this shit I was like, I was like we're not even dating or anything and then she'd be like ooh she'd be like I love it when you give it back to me and then she'd send like a bunch of pictures of her like pussy and ass I was like what the fuck <laughs> so I eventually, I, I was just like, oh, I was like, hey, I was like, we, I was like, we can't do this no more, and I just like deleted her on everything because she just was so crazy, man. <laughs> but yeah, that that reminded me of that. It was so fucking funny, dude. Oh god, her fucking accent and the way she talked was like so sad. <laughs> like she she would move her head when she was. That's talking. what I mean. Yeah, like, like that she, that she move on the way the there. Oh shit. Was yeah. was <laughs> she had a G? She had some G in yeah, her. Yeah, she had like, a little G in her, dude. Yeah. A little was, gangster. She was, she was hot as hell, though. Was, like, like, I, I don't ready to throw it out. Yeah, I don't regret Oh, yeah, she would have fought people. Like, yeah, she would Yeah, she would have fought people for talking to me. She's like, you looking at me, bitch? Yeah, yeah, literally, yeah. yeah. It was awesome, but uh, she was a little too crazy, so I had to end it quick. <laughs> <laughs> before your truck got set yeah, on before, fire. Yeah, before it was a real thing, and then she was just, yeah. That would be so funny That'd if some, a girl burned your truck to the ground. Just because someone another girl commented on my video. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the best. <laughs> I would take so many video yeah, selfies like of me truck. like talking about it. Like, be like my truck check it out. Caleb's on, truck is on fire because some girl commented on his Instagram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's why you can't date no G's, dude. Dude, yeah, so scary. Them gangsters. Yeah. It's great, though. Especially those, like, those little white chicks that are freaking, yeah. like, straight. Like gangbangers, um, yeah. Like they're they're like, wild they as fuck. In it. Yeah. yeah, so scary. They're, they scare me. Do they yeah. scare you? Tacoma girls were like that. Uh, I saw more in North Carolina. Really? Yeah, that makes sense. I really uh, didn't see little any girls. ghetto country girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were like, that's, that's odd. Yeah, like yeah. they they grew up in a trailer Red park watching ghetto, rap videos. Yeah. It was just a weird mix. Yeah, <laughs> pretty <laughs> pretty much every girl we met in our car club. Yeah, yeah North Carolina locals. Yeah, <laughs> jeez. Yeah. 
That was a that was an interesting time. Yeah. Were you in a car club? No, I was not in a car club. But we, I, we had everybody had the friends who had <clears throat> like they would park out back of the movie theater uh, uh, in the giant open uh, parking lot there. They'd meet meetups and stuff. And like ours was a Bed Bath and Beyond. Makes sense. Yeah. Or, uh, it was like, a Magnolia Hi Fi. One of our no, friends. that was high school in outside of Bragg. It was Bed Bath and Beyond. Oh yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. Like a couple, yeah. a couple of our friends, like one guy had an STI. And one guy had an Evo, and they were, like, both, like, fucking kitted out. Like, the dude's Evo would do wheelies. Like, it was nuts. Well, it scared the fuck out of We didn't even have that. anything that cool. No. Air, there was like, one truck that did wheelies, but... Uh, it was on switches, wasn't it? No, it just had super blown suspension. Oh. And he'd put a shit ton of weight in the back, and it would he'd rev the engine, and it would do wheelies. But that guy's dad had, like, um, he had some kind of car thing where he like built people's cars and shit and he built that for you know for his son him and his son like built the evo together <clears throat> that's literally what everybody called him evo uh but dude yeah that thing was nuts like it would it, it would slam you into the fucking seat and he would it would pop like the front wheel. like he would i can remember whenever he f- tuned it or whatever he's like dude he's like let's go for a ride like we all were in his car and he would fucking get it on a, a wheelie and he would start doing this to the steering wheel to show that it like wouldn't go anywhere and he'd look over and he'd be like isn't this crazy and then like it like land it and just keep going we were like what the fuck oh my god yeah it was nuts but yeah they like would go to like little car shows and stuff every now and then we'd swing by and, and see them at the uh, movie theater and just it see was a fun culture to grow up into yeah it was cool yeah I liked it it was like smallish town things that went on are we running out of time yeah well you know what we're at 55 minutes yeah this was a good commute for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Your true. hands stayed on the wheel. Yeah, yeah. No one's dead. No one's dead. You might be a little horny, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because now you're thinking about high school. Yeah, you're thinking about your high school crushes. Yeah, the first what time. happened to you Oh, dude. School. Hell yeah. Yeah, music will bring you back to that. Oh, easy, Instantly. Yeah, easy. Yeah. 